Here you are dancing crazily like there is no tomorrow. Yo, the club is best place to find a lover. Hey girl, be gentle. Everyone is staring at you. Because I am the most beautiful here. Not the most beautiful but the most crazy. Fuck all this dude and enjoy. Party party yeah. You are getting so much courage because of him. If he was not here, you would have been sitting like a scary cat in some corner. She said looking at the wine counter where a guy was sitting. You also looked at his direction and say, Seriously? You said sarcastically. He is not even looking at me. If someone makes me disappear from here, he will not even know. Haha, uh -huh. you know very well you are the most safest girl in this adult club. Whatever, I need to go to the restroom. Come soon. She left and you continue your craziest dance. Hey beautiful. Me? You ask pointing towards you. Is there anyone more beautiful than you here? Oh, and you are so disgusting. You said last word with a disgusting face making him glare at you. Can't you see I am talking you nicely? He shouted but because of loud music no one heard. Thanks to the music that you are still on your feet. You test my patience, now you have to pay. He said and was about to hold your hand but someone punched him hard. Poor guy, messed with the wrong girl. You said proudly. So this guy is the way to her. He ordered his guard. No, who just threatening is enough. Let's go. He said angrily while walking away. Hey wait, I'm coming. With that saying you run towards him. When not finding you there, she looks in the direction of the wine counter. She sighed and said, They left me alone again. Jankov, stop now. You said catching up with him. What happened with you? Why are you ignoring me? Suddenly he stops and you bump into his back. Uh, sorry. You giggle but your smile faded seeing him a dark gauge. Done. Hmm? When? Why do you always put yourself in danger? This is making you more enemies. I don't care because my mafia best friend is there to save me. Hearing this a smile appeared on his face but he quickly hide it before it appears. I'm not gonna save you every time, he said while walking ahead. Nice joke, you said while jumping on his back. Ah, monkey. Jungkook is a mafia king and you are his childhood best friend. You are still in college and Jungkook has graduated. Of course he is older than you that's why. But your friendship hasn't changed yet. You spend all the time with Jungkook after college. Jungkook is too cold and dangerous for everyone except you. And you have also anger issues that only Jungkook can claim. Next day after college you come Jungkook's company for the first time without informing him. Where is Koo Jungkook's office? Sorry but may I know who are you? It's Wen, Kim Wen. I don't think you are an important person, she said while staring you up to down. Sorry but you are not my type, you said making joke, she scoffed. Look at this speech. Yeah, how dare you to talk to me like that, huh? You get so disappointed to see the behavior of this lady. Literally, she is judging you by your normal dressing sense. Look miss, mind your language, it does not suit the workers of such a big company to speak like this. You said claimly trying your best to stay claim as you know you have anger issue. Who are you to tell me, huh? Get out of here if you don't want me to kick out of here. you. What's going on here? You both look at the bodyguard who was coming here. What's happened? Don't know who is it coming here and badmouthing me. You looked at her controlling your anger that how easily she defending herself. The bodyguard looks at you and gets shocked. Oh, why ma'am you? Uh, are you okay? The lady looks at the bodyguard confusedly. Where is Cookie? You ask with cold expression. Come, let me take you. No need, just tell me. In 12th floor, you look at the lady unknowingly one last time before walking away. Bravo, you lost your job. What? But... Jungkook, we are doing some work on his laptop when you enter without knocking. 
What the hell? He said while lifting his head. Oh, monkey, you! What a surprise! He said, coming towards you, but you go ahead and sit on his CEO's chair. What happened? Did someone make you angry again? No, you said with an angry pout while folding your arms. Who is he? Is he? He asked a calmly yet scary voice. I said, no, no one made me angry. You don't want to spoil Jungkook's mood while telling him about that lady, and as well you don't want because of you someone has to face the anger of their boss. Then why my little monkey is angry, huh? I I'm angry with you. You knew that is my half day. Still you didn't come to pick me up. To be honest, I had forgotten. He said directly, making you more angry. You bunny! Today I'll kill you for sure. Saying this, you run to catch him. Hey, no, this is my office. He said while running away from you. I don't care, Mr. John. You were just about to catch him, but your foot hit the chair and you fell on him. You closed your eyes in fear. They both fell on the couch. She fell off of Jungkook. As soon as you open your eyes, your eyes meet his dark brown orbs, who was already staring at you deeply. Your heart beating like a drum as his lips were almost about to touch your. Your lips is so soft. He said, touching your lips by his thumb. Then hearing his next words, your eyes widen in shock. Can I kiss you? You was speechless and your eyes fell on his lips. You gulped when he was leaning closer. But suddenly he starts laughing hard. You get confused seeing him laughing. Just a joking dude. Who would like to kiss a bitch? You yell while standing. Ah, you should lose your bed. He also stand up and said making you volcano who is ready to blast. Laugh as much as you want. I'm not gonna talk to you. You said with an angry part looking at another direction. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I was thinking of going out with my best friend, but I don't think she wants to go. He said dramatically. She is ready to go if you don't take your bodyguards with you. But when it won't be safe. I can't hear anything. Okay, let's go. Walking with handful of shopping bags, Jungkook hugged and saw you still checking is anything left to buy. When I'm not a normal person, if someone recognizes me, then the whole mafia world will not be aware to face anyone. Who cares? Asked this girl. He sighed and looked ahead. Jungkook, let's go there. When enemy? Huh? My enemies is here. Let's go out of there before they see us. He said, looking here and there, finding all men. Jungkook, those people are coming here. Hurry up! With saying that, he runs, holding your hand. My guards are not with us. I can't fight alone with so many men, and also there is a lot of crowd here. I don't want to put them in danger by fighting. Sorry, Jungkook. I should not have insisted not to bring guards. It's not your fault, Wayne. Why did you stop? There is no way forward. Oh no, they are coming here. Jungkook, I don't want to die yet. You said closing your eyes in fear. You open your eyes in shock when you felt his lips on you. You tried to push him away but he held your waist and didn't let you move. Wayne, they are here. He mumbled in between the keys. You closed your eyes and let him kiss you because you have no other option. But your eyes got widened when he started moving his lips against your. Mmm, cool. Jungkook's enemies leave from there, but still he is not stopping. When you get out of breath, you push him little away. Your heart was processed you to climb down, but his smirk and dark eyes was making it hard. They, they are gone. Fuck all this. I wanna kiss you again. Cha, he cut off you by again pegging your lips. His lips were serving their magic on you. You got totally lost and kissed him back, patiently by holding his shirt tightly, making him smile in between. You come out of the shower and then throw your body on the bed. As soon as you closed your eyes, his face placed in your mind. You could still feel his lips. You touched your lips, rolling to the other side. That was so perfect. Wait, why am I missing that kiss? You start clawing on the bed in shame. 
नो वे नो डोंट थिंक ही लाइक्स यू बिकॉज यू आर नॉट हिज टाइप ही कैन नेवर लाइक यू देन यू स्टॉप फ्लॉपिंग एंड से देन वाई डिड ही किस मी वेट वाई डिड आई किस टेम बैक यू अगेन स्टार्ट फ्लॉपिंग इन सेम ओमो इट्स सो एम्बेसिंग डोंट नो वट वुड ही बी थिंकिंग ऑफ मी वाइल ड्राइंग हिज वेट हियर ही लुक द हिम सेल्फ इन मिरर He paused and touched his lips and smiled. That's crazy. Didn't think she would kiss back. I don't think now I'll be able to hide my feelings for much longer. You driving me crazy in your love van. Next day, as usual, Jungkook come to pick you up at your home to drop you college. You came and sat in his car silently. You were so nervous to utter a single word. You just couldn't talk directly. What happened? Why? Why are you so quiet today? He asked like nothing happened. You gulped and say, "Um, uh, did did you sleep well last night?" After realizing what you just asked, you closed your eyes frustratingly. Jungkook chuckled internally and say, "I had the best sleep last night." He said, making you blush. But after hearing his next words, your blush changed into embarrassment. But I don't think you could sleep last night. It's so hot here," he said, changing the point while choked in the air, making Jungko giggle. He cupped your cheek gently. Cute. What was it? Why am I getting couples feelings? You had to wait in the car. I was just coming. I waited, but you didn't come, so I started worrying. He said, like a five-year baby. Okay, okay, now let's go. Meanwhile, some girls. Hey look there he is our senior isn't he yeah he is Jung Jungkook you know i don't feel coming to college since he graduated everything is boring here without him why don't you go and say this directly to him both of you were about to sit in the car when those calls come and stop Jungkook senior wait Jungkook and you look at them confusedly hi i'm Mia your junior and the beauty queen of this college i think you must know me You escaped. <laughs> Beauty queen. You mumbled, but it was enough for everyone to hear. Mia glared at you and then again turned her face to Jungkook. Sorry, I don't know you, but I know you well, senior. You're very hot, just like me. I think you need a perfect partner like me. Can you be my boyfriend? No, you said before he can say anything. Jungkook looked at you while smirk internally. Hey, Wayne, who are you to say no, huh? I I she is my girlfriend. You looked at him and saw to who was already staring at you with a smirk. Hey, I know you two just a friend. You both are not a couple. We are, you said proudly. You looked at Jungkook's eyes and without wasting any single second, you cupped his cheeks and pecked his lip. He was fucking shocked by your sudden action. He couldn't help but kiss you back. Then you broke the kiss and say Need any more proof? I hate you, Wen. Thanks. Both of you are silent. You just so nervous right now. Your heart beating like a drum. Um, uh, Jungkook, can you stop the car for a while? Do you want to kiss me again? Hey, no. I, I just want to t- tell you something. So, what is the need to stop the car? In the I love you. You said cut off him. He immediately pulled the brake. What? Look, it's all your fault. Since you kissed me, I started feeling more than best friend for you, and you know well that I can't hide anything for. After you could complete, he smashed his lips on you. You immediately kissed him back. The kiss was so soft and full of love. His kiss making you breathless, but still you like it. He moved his face from one side to another side, letting you breathe for a second. After a few minutes he slowly went back and you took a heavy breath while looking into his eyes. I love you too, Wayne. Really? I have already seen you as more than a best friend. I love you for a long time. You blushed at his confession and knowing that. Don't be shy, baby. Sinus doesn't suit you. He said tensely making you angry. You bunny. You started beating him that was useless for this bunny. because he is too strong but still he pretend like it's hurting him oh baby it's hurting stop it 